Hi everybody, it's Cindy at Upcycle Design Lab. Today I'm going to be continuing with my craft room makeover and I'm going to be concentrating on the ceiling today. I have these really ugly ceiling tiles here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's also a kind of a hole back here. So I didn't want to paint over them or tear them down. So I decided to cover them with some more packing paper and Mod Podge. If you've missed any of the other projects in this series, I will link to those in the comment section of this video. And I hope you'll check out some of my other videos, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and also be sure to check the bell icon to get notifications when I upload new videos. Alright, so this is a fairly simple project. I'm just using some packing paper and the Mod Podge, like I said. I have a little bit of water here in case I need to water down the Mod Podge. And if you've seen some of my other projects for this room, uh, like the trim here, the cardboard trim, you know I've used a lot of this Mod Podge and paper mache technique. For this project, I'm going to be using slightly larger pieces of the packing paper. And instead of brushing the Mod Podge onto the ceiling, I'm actually going to just use the top of the ladder here and brush the Mod Podge onto the piece of paper. And I have a regular brush and a foam brush. I'm not sure which one I'm going to want to use, but I'm going to start with the regular brush and just use a nice corner piece and start in the corner and work my way out. Alright, so I'm about halfway done with the room and a couple of thoughts as I've gone along. I did end up using my regular paint brush. I liked it better than the foam brush. Um, I also ran out of paper so I had to kind of scrounge and find some other papers. They're not all exactly the same color but I think it's given some interesting uh, texture to the, the way that the ceiling is turning out. And since some of the paper was crinkled and some of it wasn't, I've gone ahead and crinkled all of my paper so then I have to just flatten it out before I put the Mod Podge on there. And like I said before, I am using the top of my ladder here and just applying the Mod Podge to the back of the paper to make sure that I get Mod Podge on all of it. And once I have that done, then I'm just, I make sure that I'm really pressing the paper solidly onto the ceiling so that I don't have any corners that are hanging off when I'm done. It's a pretty simple project. It does take a little bit of time, obviously, but uh, it's pretty easy to do, and I really like the way it's turned my ugly ceiling tiles into sort of a more pretty textured looking ceiling. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the room, and then for the final step, I'm going to be adding some cardboard crown molding. So here's a finished look at the crown molding. Like I said, it's made out of cardboard. And this edge right here is gonna be up against the ceiling, so it's not completely covered with the paper mache, which is fine. And then this, will, this back piece will be along the wall, and this will be the face piece that shows. I'm not gonna demo the in, how to make the crown molding. I did a whole video uh, how to, on how to make cardboard, baseboard, and trim. And so if you watch that video, you should be able to figure out how to make the crown molding. Here's just a quick look at a piece of the baseboard. So this is the bottom and it matches up exactly to the crown molding. You can see it's exactly the same. So if you just make the bottom half of the baseboard, you'll end up with the crown molding. So I'm in my garage here and I'm going to attempt to make some miter cuts on my crown molding. 
To do this, I'm just using a typical miter box, and if you've never used a miter box before, it can be a little bit tricky to figure out some of the angles, but once you do a couple of cuts, you should be able to picture how the pieces need to go together, and you can figure out how to make the cuts. So here, I'm gonna cut my piece at a 45 degree angle, and once I have it in pl held in place with the black peg and I'm going to hold it firmly with my uh, left hand up against the edge of the miter box uh, and then it, you can go ahead and just proceed with the cutting um, just as if it was a piece of wood. So here I'm going ahead and fitting my miter cut pieces into the corner and I'm going to tack them up using my one and a quarter inch roofing nails. And the reason I chose the roofing nails is because the cardboard isn't nearly as dense as regular wood so I wanted a big flat head to uh, hold the cardboard so that it wouldn't pull through. And because I am using paper mache to cover up the cardboard itself, uh, I can just go back over and cover up the nail heads with the paper mache once the pieces are in place. So here I'm doing the finishing piece. I'm just taking a small piece of my packing paper and my small paintbrush and some Mod Podge to cover up the nail heads. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my project today, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. And also, if you'd like more information on crafting with recycled materials, please consider becoming a subscriber and also checking out my blog at www.upcycledesignlab.com.